Good evening and welcome to Compline on Monday evening. Let's just have a moment of quiet as we begin, shall we? I will lie down and sleep in peace. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. O God and Spirit, and Jesus the three, from the crown of my head, O Trinity, to the soles of my feet, mine offering be. Come I unto thee, O Jesus my King, O Jesus be, do thou be my sheltering. My dear ones, O God, bless thou and keep in every place where they are. Whoever has chosen to make the shelter of the Most High their dwelling place, will stay in his overshadowing. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God and I am trusting him. He will rescue you from the traps laid for your feet and save you from the destroying curse. His fearful promises are your armour. You need no longer be afraid of any terror by night or the death arrow that flies by day. The Lord himself is your refuge. You have made the Most High your stronghold. Be my rock, a castle to keep me safe, for you are my crag and my stronghold. How precious to me are your thoughts, O God, how vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. I will not lie down with sin. I will not lie down tonight with sin, nor shall sin nor sin shadow lie down with me. O God of life this night, O darken not to me thy light. O God of life this night, close not thy gladness to my sight. O God of life this night, thy door to me, O shut not tight. O God of life this night. So tonight we are looking at cancelling our debt. Colossians 2 verse 13 says, God forgave us all our sins, cancelling the debt written against us in the ledger with all its legal requirements, irrevocably doing away with it by nailing it to the cross. What do we ponder tonight? Have you ever been in debt? Apparently, this is the most widespread social problem of our time. It's a horrible situation to be in and one I've always taken care to avoid since my days living on a student grant. Each term I would end up 40 or 50 or even 100 pounds overdrawn. And though that may seem relatively small today, at the time it felt like a giant millstone around my neck. At Oxford, with no grant at all and reliant upon a number of small trusts and the generosity of my home church, it was harder still. I spent many sleepless nights tossing and turning as I brooded over how far I could stretch the overdraft and how I could I ever hope to repay it. It's not just financial debts, however, that can eat away at our peace of mind. To owe even an apology to someone can weigh heavily upon us and to owe recompense that we cannot possibly make is even harder still. It's such a debt that we owe to God, for we have all failed him innumerable times each deserving of punishment according to the law of Moses. No matter how hard we try, we can never pay what is due. No amount of good works able to earn our salvation. Yet, that is where we come to, the heart of the gospel. The good news of God's gracious mercy in cancelling the debt. We do not need to wrestle with that burden of shame or guilt. He's taken it from us, nailed with Christ on the cross and buried in the tomb, unlike him, never to return. There are no easy answers to owing money. Somehow or other, it has to be paid or a black mark is put against our name and we're written off. Thank God, the debt we owe to him is freely and lovingly cancelled we need only to ask. So ask yourself this evening, are you troubled by a sense of guilt or unworthiness? 
Have you understood the implications of Christ's sacrifice on the cross? Let's pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you paid the price that I could never begin to pay. You gave your all to cancel the debt I owe, securing my freedom through your suffering and death. I celebrate again the awesomeness of that sacrifice and the generosity of that gift. And I praise you that you make no extortionate demands in return for forgiveness, nor impose stringent conditions before you are ready to grant it. You ask me simply to acknowledge my need and to accept your mercy, trusting in what you have done on my behalf. Lord Jesus Christ, such grace is beyond my comprehension but I respond to it with joyful prayers and heartfelt worship, offering you my love and service, not as a repayment, but as a token of my glad thanksgiving. To you be glory and honour, blessing and adoration, now and forevermore. Amen. Be it on thine own beloved arm. O God of grace, that I in peace shall waken. Jesus, son of Mary, my helper, my encircler. Jesus, son of David, my strength everlasting. Jesus, son of Mary, my helper, my encircler. The peace of all peace be mine this night in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for being with me this evening. Please, as you continue to pray for others, as I always say, pray for yourself too. As you care for others, care for yourself too. And let's continue to pray for this broken world. Good night and God bless you.